It's not just what you say, but when you say it that matters. Proverbs 15 and verse 23. A man has joy by the answer of his mouth, and a word spoken in due season, how good it is. Proverbs 25 verse 11. A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in settings of silver. Or another version renders this, the right word at the right time is like precious gold set in silver. So here's another instruction that we receive through the book of Proverbs concerning the right use of words. We learned to set a God over our mouth so that we can speak words only when necessary, when only when it's right, that our, we don't speak loose words. We also learned the importance of using knowledge rightly, uh, that we learn to say what is acceptable, learn to say the right thing. But another instruction we see here in Proverbs is that we must also learn to speak words in due season, that means at the right time. And words that are spoken at the right time can have a powerful effect, can bring much good. Uh, as we saw here in Proverbs, that right words at the right time is invaluable. It's like precious gold set in silver, meaning it's, it's priceless if we know how to speak the right words at the right time. So, Here's another lesson for us to take on learning to use our words rightly. That is, we not only are cautious to speak the right thing, but we must also learn to speak those words at the right time. So this could mean various things. It could mean being sensitive to the emotions of people. Some, so we need to speak those words when they are able to receive those words. If someone is disturbed, agitated, angry, even though you know what is the right thing to say, it may not be the right time to say it. So you hold back and you wait for a better moment when you can communicate uh, what you want to say. Uh, in business dealings, there may be a lot of interaction going and you may actually know uh, that one thing that you could say to close the deal, but that moment may not be necessarily the right time to say it. You may need to meet with that person uh, in a different setting and then put your proposal out there so that they will be able to better receive it. So you may have the best proposal, but it's also important when you present it so that the person is able to understand what you're saying, see the difference and receive what you're saying. So we need to ask God not only know, to know the right thing to say, but also the right time to say it. Sometimes we miss out the, on the right time. A word spoken at a moment, at a, a moment of need for somebody could make a world of difference. Just a word of encouragement when they are down could make a world of difference. And they need it when they are down, not when they're fine and they're happy. But when they're down, that's the moment they need a little word of encouragement. So don't miss out on that because a little word of encouragement at that moment could mean a world of difference for that person. So that takes wisdom. Not only knowing the right thing to say, but the right time to say it. And God give us wisdom to use our words powerfully to say the right thing at the right time. Let's pray. Lord, even as we draw lessons and insights from your word and how to use our mouth rightly, the tongue of the wise, we ask that you'll give us wisdom to know not only what the right thing to say is, but also the right time on when to say it so that it can bless people and it can make a difference. We ask for wisdom to do this in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.